Good morning, good morning. It is the top of the morning. Welcome back to the English Breakfast Club. It's your girl Muffin and your boy T is out today taking care of his sick son. But today we have a very special guest in the building. We got my girl Jam K Sharp here today <laughs> back in New York City. It's it's always great to be back here. So many people don't know that you and I actually went to college together. Um, we had a class, and I remember you talking about how you wanted to be an actor. And yes, you were doing school, but you really wanted to be an actor. And so it's so crazy to see what I wanted to do and where I am now and where what you wanted to do and where you are now. It's just so it's amazing to see. We, we really were in the class together, and I remember we actually were sitting outside of the commons um, and we were talking about what it is that we wanted to do and how school was like, where are we here? Um, but it, it, it's crazy how we are where we are. Um, it's not really crazy, but it's like a blessing to just see how committed you have to be to get to where you want to be so um yeah I, yeah so this is your first major role right yes this is my first major role and what made you or when did you decide that this is something that you wanted to do for the rest of your life well um I actually started wanting to be an actor when I um so my cousin was doing um, acting. I remember we used to watch, um, I remember watching this movie that she was in and my family was like, oh, that's your cousin. And then she was on this show and I'm like, I want to do that too. So I used to watch Teletubbies and um, you know, the they had the screen on their bellies and the kids and you can kind of like go into them. So I thought if I broke the TV that I could go into, you know, be on the show of the Teletubbies and then be in the screen of the Teletubbies. So I think I think that's what made me want to start. Um, I also think that, you know, there's always that one person in your family that is so inspiring or so like you want to be them or you want to achieve what they have. So if you're a younger kid and you are in high school and you know that there's this doctor in the family or there's this lawyer in the family, like that is like how I felt about my cousin at the time. I was like, that is huge. Like this acting thing, like that's what I want to do. So, so yeah, I, that, that's, that's where it started. Now, a lot of people don't know this about you. Um, but you are heavily into politics. Is that correct? Yes, I do. I love politics. Um, I do feel that if I was not in this career right now, I'd be doing something political because I just love it. I think it's another form of acting, but but not on TV or not always on TV. Um I, in 2008, uh, Obama was running for president, and I was in the 10th grade. And um, I remember my grandma having these buttons and pens for me um, and shirts because I was so into Barack Obama at the time. I was like, this guy is like, this world is changing. And sure, maybe because he was black, but I felt very strong at 15 years old. Um, so then in 2012, I was able to vote for him again. And that was amazing because after that, I went to the inauguration and it was cold. Okay. Like my feet were frozen, but I was out there supporting this hope and this change. And um, ever since then, um, I've I, I follow what's happening. Uh, I know that there's a lot of, you know, things that go behind the scenes that I don't know about, but I'm still into it. And um, 
out and also there is my professor back in college um, before I transferred to the school that I graduated from. Um, I was in a southern town in Georgia and I I think my professor was pretty liberal and wow. so if anyone knows geography and politics you know in the south they are like so strong on the right you know so this teacher uh, which I love so much he kind of I thought he was making everyone think that hey open your mind like don't be so one-sided you know like you got to hear this point of view you got to hear that point of view you know and it was so amazing because like they had parents calling the teacher and like they were so mad that he was teaching this and it's like that's the problem. So I think that's kind of why I'm into it, um, um, politics as well. And lastly, Rachel Maddow. Um, I watch her every night at 9 p.m. If I don't catch it at 9 o'clock, it comes back on at 12 a.m. Um, yeah. All right. But we got to get back to why you are here. Please tell us about this new movie coming out oh. tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Back to why we here. Because tomorrow, yes, 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 Robin. Wow. Robin is the story about a young woman uh, growing up into um, adulthood. And she is trying to figure out how to manage her love life. Um, because she only cares about herself. She grew up lacking a mother and a father. So she just only thinks about herself. She is very defensive. She is very, um, she's understandable, but she just, it's, it's her way or no way. And so her significant other pops the question and you gotta see how it turns out. You gotta find out tomorrow. I can't tell you too many details. I mean, because, like, why would you go see it? <laughs> um, so, yeah, tomorrow, go to the theater and go to Fandango.com. Purchase one ticket, two tickets, three tickets, four tickets. Purchase it for your whole family, okay? Um, it's not rated R. So, if you got kids, they can see it, too. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see that. That sounds... Like a beautiful story thank you thank you it's always great seeing you um keep doing your thing i'm gonna keep doing my thing and that's just what it's gonna be all right folks there you have it check out robin in theaters tomorrow go to fandango.com and any other theater wherever you stay go to their websites to purchase tickets purchase not one but purchase two for your significant other and I think it's a good story too. So yeah, check it out tomorrow. And thank you thank for you. coming in here today.